we have just tried to send the data from STDout and STDR to different files. And it was successful. We have written different streams to different files. And uh, actually, we have tried this part. There were two different data streams, STDout and STDR, and two different files. But what if we want to send the data from STDout data stream to STDIn of other process? Let's try it using the same approach as we used in previous lectures. Let's go to the terminal and let's suppose that we want to redirect std out of ls command to std in of cat command. Let's try approach that we have used with files. ls. Then comes greater than operator that will redirect actually std out of ls command. And let's here write cat command. And let's press enter. And I see actually nothing. I could try here add 1 because 1 is id of std out and press enter and again nothing. And that means that with this greater than operator you are not able to redirect data from std out or stdr to std in of other process. That's why here we see nothing. If you want to do so, you need to use other operator called pipe and approach that is called piping. With piping, you could send data from std out of one process to std in of other process. Next, you are also able to send std out data flow from this process to another std in of other process, and so on. You could pipe different processes one after previous. But please notice that stdr data stream is not piped. And you are able to write it to the file same as we did in previous examples. Or you could still print it to the terminal that is actually a default action. Alright, let's try to use piping here in this example with ls and cut processes. And for that I'll type ls, then pipe, its vertical line, and here will be cut, like so. Press enter, and now I see list of files and folders. And that means that now std out from ls process was sent to std in of cut process. Alright, but let me demonstrate you that pipe does not send stdr data stream. For that I could use here cut command with some missing file, missing file.txt like so, and then let's suppose that I want to pipe result of this command to another cut process. Press enter and I see error directly here in the terminal. And that means that std error data stream was not sent to another process. Alright, that's how you could pipe different processes together. For example, let me pipe another process echo. And by default this command will simply print some text to the terminal and this text will be supplied here as argument. Let's type hello world. And if I press enter now, I see output from std out data stream. And it prints hello world. Now let's suppose that I want to send the result of this operation to another command. And let's use here again cut. And let's suppose that I want to write result of cut operation from std out to file. And here I could use following syntax, greater than sign. And here will be hello.txt. Again, here following will happen. STD out data stream of this process will send data to STD in of cut process. And STD out of cut process will be stored in the file hello.txt. If this file is absent, it will be created. Alright, let's try it. Enter. I see nothing here in the terminal. But if I list contents of file hello.txt, I see hello world. That's how it works and that's how you are able to combine pipe operator and redirect operator. Please note again that redirect operator will write contents only to file. It is not capable of sending data to std in of other processes. For that you need to use pipe operator. Alright, that's all for this lecture and next let me summarize what we have discussed over the course of the previous lectures. I'll see you next. Bye-bye.